In today's video, I'm gonna give you one tip that you can use when you feel stuck in life. In order for you to know what you can do when you feel stuck, sometimes you need to take a step back and you need to realize what being stuck looks like in your life. So I'm gonna give you just a couple of clues that you can tune into so you can tell if you are stuck in life or not. Are you lazy? Do you procrastinate? Do you have a lack of understanding about yourself and maybe a lack of understanding about the vision that you have for yourself? Maybe you are experiencing a lack of growth and development. Just think about this year, last year, the year before that, 10 years prior to that. Are you growing, evolving and developing? Especially are you growing, evolving and developing at the pace that you should be or at the pace that you would like to be? And a clue for that is, is your outer life where you would like it to be? Any of those things that are persistent in your life can lead to repeating patterns in your life. So if you find that you are going through the same thing over and over, even if it may be in different circumstances, that hamster wheel is being stuck. And usually there's something that's going on underneath the surface to cause that. And some of the things that I just mentioned are some of the things that cause those subconscious underlying repeating patterns to happen that don't allow you to move forward in life. Some common causes in my clients for being stuck or feeling like they're not able to move forward in life are the following. They are not allowing the changes that they've been through, the experiences that they have been through to actually transform them for the positive. Or there's a lot of work that I do around limiting beliefs and conditioning, which means that you are living maybe because of what other people think about you. You are trying to make other people happy. You don't know who you are, so you don't know are you truly living life for yourself or you're doing what society told you you should do, culture tells you you should do, the prior experiences in your life that you have that kind of hold you back from moving forward. There's a lot of that that I work through with clients. Also, there is a lack of purpose in some of the clients that I work with. And this can be super, super subtle. Purpose is a very complex topic, but it doesn't have to be. And I have done a series, a lot of videos, a lot of teaching on life purpose on my website and my Facebook group, etc. So you can go there to learn more about life purpose. But at the end of the day, you feel stuck when you don't have a purpose or a goal or great work that you are working toward in life. Or this ties into number two, where I was talking about the, the limiting beliefs or the conditioning is that you have a mismatched purpose again. So you do have goals. You do think that you have a purpose, but that purpose is not tied to your true inner authentic self, or you tie that purpose in things such as talents, etc. And just because you're good at something or talented at something doesn't mean that that may be the purpose that your soul has for this life. And so that could also make you feel stuck, even though you feel like I'm checking off boxes, I'm accomplishing stuff, I'm, I should feel successful, is because you have a mismatch with your actions and your purpose lining up. I mentioned this earlier, but one of the things that really compounds this is not forgiving yourself for the things or experiences that you have from the past or not letting the past transform you. And so what you can see is that actually compounds things and makes you even more stuck because thoughts create things and you getting stuck in a space where these things are not transforming you for the positive can lead to this vicious cycle again where you're not moving forward as you would like to because something is holding you back in some sort of way or maybe a perspective shift needs to happen in order to let the past transform you more positively. So here are going to be some keys to help you to move forward. A lot of people don't like to hear this because they try to say that this is bypassing, but I want you to really pay attention to this because it's not. It's the truth. You can change when you choose to change and it starts with your perspective allow the things 
that have happened to you in the past or allow some of the challenges that you are going through right now to change you positively. You have to understand that your reaction to challenges, trials, and tribulations can be the number one thing that stops you from moving forward. You also have to realize that beliefs create stagnation. This is not woo woo. This is not spiritual. This is a scientific fact. So if you want to decrease your level of feeling stuck and feeling stagnant, then you need to do the work on adopting beliefs that are supportive of growth and evolution and development and forward movement. So check your beliefs. I did a video previously on heart and mind coordination. So another thing that you may want to do is to make sure that as you are moving forward in life, you are moving forward with your heart and your mind working in the same direction because when they are not, you can find that you don't accomplish as much as you would like to accomplish, or you may not accomplish anything at all from that incongruency. Other considerations to release stagnation. Who do you want to be? Who are you now? This is not how you see yourself. This is not how you would like to be. This is who are you now? And as you examine that, you may find that there is a gap between the two. And so brainstorm some actions that you can do to close the gap between who you truly are right now versus who it is that you would like to be. And then all you have to do is do those actions as much as possible and as consistently as possible. This means that when things are going good, you do them. And when things are going not so well, you still do them. The reason why this works is because when you are living from this space, your brain starts to release neurochemicals. Your brain starts to create neural pathways. I talk about this all the time with you guys in my private coaching clients. You know, this is what the majority of our work is based on. And as you do that, it starts to create habits. It starts to create you doing things that happen and it feels like a second nature. Now, at first it will feel like you have to tap into a bunch of willpower, but the more that you can act and the more that you can consistently act is the faster that this biochemical cascade happens that helps you support the changes that you are trying to make so that the habits become automatic. And as the habits become automatic, you're changing your life. You're changing who you are, both literally and how you show up in the world. And as you do that, it creates change in your outer world. And as you are acting consistently from that space, those things that you identify in the gap between who you are and where you wanna be, while you're in that state of action, you tap into being present in that moment which allows you to be in flow, which allows you to ride the wave of energy that's gonna take you forward and help you to become more successful that much faster. That way you're doing value added actions and you're also shifting your behaviors at the same time. So you get a triple whammy just by taking those actions that you found from that gap and doing them as much as you can and as consistently as you can. Now, after listening to this video, if you find that you struggle with this process or you've tried it in the past and you haven't done it correctly or you feel like you need help because you get stuck, then you may need help. A lot of times to shift out of a mindset or a belief or let changes transform you or learn how to do all of the things that I've talked about, there are a subset of you that are going to need help doing that. And if you do, then I have spots available right now for private coaching. It is a 12 week private coaching program, and it is by application only to make sure that you and I are going to be able to work together to make sure that you get results. So you can go to yashikasintuition.com forward slash coaching. If you are curious about 
how it would be to work with me as your coach to move you through all of these things and processes so that you can start to align with a purpose and a vision for yourself and set goals for yourself and then use spiritual tools to help you tap into the power that will make this much easier for you so you can ride that wave. If this sounds like something you're interested in, again, yashikasintuition.com forward slash coaching, fill out the application, I'll set up a Zoom call And if we're a good fit, we can get you started right away so that you can begin making shifts now. Stop procrastinating, stop being lazy, stop being stuck in these subconscious patterns and actually start to live the life that you want to live. All right, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.